Hello, my high powered woman. My name is Jolly Abraham and I am here to help you thrive in your life and flourish in all eight areas of your life. Today, I'm going to be focusing on the professional woman leader and I'm going to be talking to you about seven powerful secrets that every woman leader needs to know in order to thrive in the workplace. Stay with me until the end. Why? Because I have a special surprise for you. I'm really excited about it. So I'll let you know what it is at the very end. Let's get started. Number one, the first powerful secret that every woman leader needs to know is that it is okay to want to be great. Listen, greatness is inherent inside every single one of us. We all want to be leaders and that's okay. It's okay to say that you want to be great. You know, a lot of us walk around with this uh, sort of false humility and say, no, 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 I don't want to be great. I just want to serve, especially us women. But the truth is we kind of parade around this false humil humility when we actually want to be admired. We want to be recognized and seen. So I'm just here to tell you that it is okay to want to be great. Many of us inside leadership, whether we are a CEO, a director, uh, in administration, uh, on like a C-level person, we are in a leadership role, but a lot of times we don't even believe that we are leaders. I know it's kind of hard to believe, but it's true. Many of us are just in this role, but we are still behaving in our old roles uh, where we want to be liked by others. We want to be loved. We want to be accepted. So we don't set up boundaries. We settle for less and we put up with less than what we know is good for ourselves and for those we lead and for our company. And I'm telling you, it's not good. It's very important for us to believe that we deserve to be in leadership. And the only way you're gonna believe it is by what you tell yourself. What are you filling your minds with? I did a video a while ago about uh, declarations and I'll put it up here for you so that you can uh, find out what exactly does a declaration mean? But it is something that you proclaim to yourself about yourself and you keep repeating it over and over every single day so that you begin to believe uh, the positive of uplifting messages uh, that are true for you. Number two, second powerful secret is that you cannot produce something better than yourself. What do I mean? You are the leader, my friend. You are at the top. There is a life principle that says everything produces after its kind. For example, if you are a hot tempered, stressed out kind of leader, guess what? That is what exactly you are going to produce. Uh, hot tempered, stressed out people all around you. You cannot be hot tempered and produce uh, mild mannered people around you. Why? Because it just doesn't work. They are going to be repelled by you. They're going to end up getting stressed out, burned out and quitting. You produce what you are. So my question to you, friend, is what kind of leader are you? What kind of people are you producing around you? Look around. The proof is in the pudding. Number three, true leaders do not employ people. True leaders deploy them. You know, defective leadership is one that manipulates, coerces, threatens, devalues, and demeans people to do what they want and it devalues people to get them to do what they want. And can I tell you, it never works. When you threaten devalue people, it stresses your team members out and it actually suffocates the greatest potential that is on the inside of them. You will never get your team members' greatness to come out when you manipulate, threaten, coerce, or demean them. Instead, I would encourage you to inspire them, 
encourage, motivate, empower them. Find ways in which you can do this. When you do this, em empower them and harness uh, the gift that's inside of them to come out. When you do this, your team members will lead fulfilled lives. They will come alive and guess what? Your organization will come alive as well. Number four, your gift is your superpower. You are in charge and have power and, and authority in the area of your gifting. But this requires a process of self-discovery. You need to get busy in trying to find out what your gift is. Not only getting busy trying to discover the, your gift, but to develop it, refine it, and then serve it to the world. When you do that, that's when you become great. If we look at some of the great leaders of our time, Mahatma Gandhi, Oprah Winfrey, Bill Gates, Henry Ford, Mother Teresa, Martin Luther King, these people didn't get become great by their education or their social status. These people became great because they discovered their gift, they developed it, refined it, and then served it to the world. And then over time, they became great. In the same way, when you get busy finding your gift, you too will become great. Your school, your schooling, although and as great as it is, cannot make you successful. Your network of friends, your, your people will not make you successful, but it is your gift that will bring you success. It is your gift that will make you great. There's a Bible verse that says, a man's gift makes room for him and will bring him before kings. It is so true, my friend. Your gift, when you are operating in it, will make you come alive and your gift is where your superpower is. All right, friends, I just want to take a minute and um, ask you if you like what you are hearing so far, just stop for a minute, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment uh, down below about what stuck out with you so far. What did I say that stuck out to you or what other things about leadership do you want to know that you maybe struggle with or have questions about? I'd love to answer it. And don't forget to share this video with some of your other women leader friends and family members. Thank you so much and let's get back to the video.